Good morning. Yep, it's pizza day. <laughs> and we're going to have to talk about that later. I am going to have to make a change in pizza days. Yeah, uh, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, something that I want to remember to, to mention uh, today, and if I don't do it right away, I'll probably forget about it. And I have been asked, have I ordered the Yamato yet? You know, the 1-200 scale Yamato. Well, here's the deal. Way back when I first started getting interested in making a model ship, when, when the Bismarck first was being laid out on the table here, what, three years ago or more, I was saying something, wouldn't it be nice if Trumpeter was going to, would put out the Yamato in 200 scale? I can remember actually talking about that. I can't remember what episode, but I'm sure I talked about it in more than one episode. Because the Yamato to me was the granddaddy of them all, and at that time I actually thought it was longer than any other, any other battleship that, that there was. I've since found out that the Iowa class is, is, is uh, longer. But we don't need to go there. What we want to talk about is, have I ordered it yet? Well, the answer to that is no. And when I first heard it was coming out a few months ago, uh, I guess, I can't remember when, was it two, three months ago? Anyway, uh, I thought, I thought, well, maybe I'll be one of the first to get one and I could do a review. <clears throat> well, since that time, I've seen three reviews now. And uh, I saw Peter's, and, and I watched Nigel's review in its entirety, every second of it. And uh, and now at, at Jason's done a review. I watched a little bit of that yesterday. Well, actually, <clears throat> actually, Jason, uh, I didn't watch all of your review on 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 it because it was it was pretty long. And when I first started watching it, I realized that I was going to be seeing stuff that I'd already seen in Nigel's review. So that brings up. So what, why, what would I do in a review then? And I would probably do something. And uh, there's no use me trying to do a box opening now on the on the uh, Yamato because uh, there's there's at least at least three good reviews out there already that shows what's in the box. So if I was to get it and it was to arrive tomorrow, what what would I show? Well, I would probably do what I'm really good at. At least I think I'm good at. I can take a little tiny part like this and I can zoom in on it with this and I can show you flashing and stuff like that and I and and I and that's what I would do. I would probably take individual little pieces and move right in on them because the overall of what's in the box has been shown real real well already. So I wouldn't do that. And and uh, I wanted to I think I do, I can recall hearing or, or typing in a comment or or something to the effect of, I want to hear what other modelers, like professional modelers, you know, like, like uh, Jason and Nigel and, and uh, uh, I know Peter doesn't call himself a professional, but he's real darn good at it, so I think he's professional. I want to hear what, what these guys uh, had to say, people that I'm sort of following. And... And now I sort of have, and it looks good. The, it, it sounds promising. Uh, yeah, there's things that people, uh, you know, don't like about it, but the overall impression that they are getting is good. So I probably will get it, but it won't be today. Um, I, I don't know. I, I want to get st I want to get the Rodney finished and start it on the on the Iowa before I get before I get the uh, Yamato. That, that's the plan right now. Actually, the plan for later this afternoon is I want to get in the back room and I want to get the uh, deep freeze moved out of there and, uh, you know, I want, I, want to, I want to work on that. Anyway, uh, that, that's, that's the latest on whether or not I'm going to get the Yamato and really, mo most people, they, they could care less uh, if, I, if I have the Yamato. But, uh, uh, and I think I mentioned this already, that from a side view, I think that the Iowa is going to be just as impressive as, as the Yamato. It's only when you look down on it that you realize that the Yamato was a, 
uh, really a big ship. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, anyway, that that's uh, I just wanted to remember to say that there was something else I wanted to talk about too, but I I forgot now. So why don't, why don't we roll back and and see how it is that we we got got to this place and then we'll carry on. Oh, did I mention there was no sunrise this morning? No, it, it was it was cloudy. It it should have come up right here. And there was nothing. It I, you, there was no hint of it even. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have a cloudy day, but the sun is shining at the model table. So let's let's get going and roll back and then and then we'll continue on. And I'm getting a nice early start here because I want to do a little bit of painting right now. And and the idea will be that I'm going to be, well, it won't be painting. It'll be the, the micro crystal clear. I, I want to use it on a, a couple of lights that I did in the rollback that you're going to see. And uh, I wanted to have a chance to maybe dry and clear, or clear up rather, uh, before the end of today's episode, which... be about five hours. I Probably about five hours from now I'll end it. Um, and then and then I start tomorrow's rollback. Anyway, let's shut up, Ron, and roll back. It's probably about five hours ago now that I painted the, I guess you'd call it the lens side of this. I, I, I remember when I first started painting, I thought, Wait a minute, am I painting the wrong side? But if you look at the back side of these things, you can see that it sort of protrudes out in order, in other words, to form the reflector part of the back of these, of these what, what would be actually in real life quite a, quite a large, uh, quite a large uh, apparatus. It's, I'm guessing it's probably about five feet across at the front. I don't think they're quite as big as the ones that were on the Bismarck, but uh, they'd be bright. They'd be bright, that's for sure. Anyway, I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, put them here, and uh, we'll, pl uh, we'll put the clear blue on one, and we'll put the micro crystal clear on the other, and we'll let them dry overnight and, and see how they look in the morning. Um, yeah, just let me uh, recompose here. Okay, first with the clear blue. Oh my, it's dissolving the, uh, the uh, 22. Well, Okay, I don't think I want to mess with that anymore. Okay, let's see what that looks like after a few hours. Like probably, it's going to take probably quite a while for that uh, clear blue to uh, to dry. Now, I don't know how many of you will remember this or not, but this is the little to scale six foot tall sailor. Remember, he was the guy who was running around the deck and he couldn't reach the hose? Okay, let's let's put our six-foot-tall man down here beside this, this gun. One, one of the uh, viewers, it was Mark, actually, 
And he, Mark was thinking that this gun might not be to scale. It, it looked too big. And I, I remember, our, no, it's, he's stuck in there. And I was thinking that too. But what I was thinking of it was more from the standpoint that he, he's not going to want to fit in the doorway. Like you, you'll see there's a, there's a doorway right behind that they have to come out of. Unless they sort of ducked, you know, under under the uh, uh, yeah, the this this gun does look awfully big. Now I I know that the 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 guy would probably sit up on a seat or something. Maybe I don't think he stood behind it. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember what it looks like. Uh, we we did have a real good uh, a drawing of it, a three D drawing actually, animated three D drawing of this particular gun. I'll see if I can find it, but I don't know if I can. And, uh, yeah, okay, now, about, oh, that's enough of that. Now, I do have two more of, of these uh, searchlights. And what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint the lens area with the uh, aluminum. And then we'll later cover it with the uh, micro crystal clear. <clears throat> Excuse me, at least that's the plan right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, uh, quickly paint these. Now, sometimes when I'm doing something on camera, I make myself look like some sort of a blithering idiot. In other words, when I was painting these things, uh, the other two, uh, you know, I was painting in like this, and I, w I wasn't having too much problem when, when the bristles were pointed this way, but I was catching the, the, the rim with, with the back part of the, with the brush, and and I and I knew at the time that all I had to do was turn it, but I thought, okay, if I turn it, I'm going to get it out of focus for the macro lens. So this this time we're going to do it right. We we got it so that no matter how I turn it, the center of that basically stays in the same place. So uh, yeah, where's our macro lens? Yeah. Okay, let's leave well enough alone here. Now I am still undecided about when I should put these on. Um, okay, this one, whoops, here we go again. This one has the, the notch right there. So it has to... Uh, When everything's upside down and laying on its side, it's uh, you you lose the uh, perspective here. Oh, Ron, for goodness sakes, what time is it? 7.27. It's not that late. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to try and glue them in place right now. Um, 
actually, uh, that, that might go better than I think. It's, I wonder if this one will want to stay there as well. I got it, you, you notice I got it sort of sloped back. So, uh, once again, we're sort of letting gravity be our friend here. And then it goes down. You know what? I should be moving in so that you can see what's going on. What's the matter with me? Okay, now this other piece. Okay, I don't know if it makes a difference which way it goes. But it is supposed to... It is supposed to lock down. Probably going to knock it over here. But it is supposed to lock down in here like this. Yeah, I wonder if maybe I shouldn't be putting this piece on first so I can center it. Uh, yeah, it kind of, kind of looks like maybe I should. Um, if I could somehow rig up a jig to hold it there like that and then put on the, the uh, Tamiya Extra Thin Quick Setting. Um, Let's see if I can't just rig something up here. I have to be careful where I grab onto this thing because I do have some delicate stuff sticking out of the other end there. Okay. We want just a little bit of down pressure on this. Now the idea is to hold it perpendicular. I'll, I'll zoom you in a little bit here. Uh, I think the whole thing has to twist about a degree here. Let's just shove it over. All right, now, there's not very much down pressure there. Well, I guess, I guess there is. Now that, that looks pretty good to me. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's get our quick setting here. I try not to bump anything. Okay, I think if we leave that now for a few minutes and don't bump anything. Okay, I'm guessing about uh, five minutes has passed here. Okay. I think I got these right. This should just want to stay there. You know, about uh, four or five hours ago, I was watching Jason do his uh, uh, Queen Mary 2 episode. And, uh, and I was thinking, what a tremendous honor, Jason, if you're listening, that to have Sir Stephen Payne on your show, uh, 
that 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 is uh that is that is really something. Now this does want to go. Maybe okay, I'm going to just use some uh, CA thin here to sort of meld things into place a little bit. Now we we will be repainting later, so. I should have a little bit more time than with the uh, with the quick setting, but not that much time. Okay, now let's see if I can just push this down into place here. It is very very close. I'm having a bit of a bit of a problem, you might say, right here, just. But you get that to to meld together, just let it uh, dissolve the plastic. And then I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to do, but maybe if I use this end to kind of come in and shove it in. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. Whoop, too far. Um, how does that but look? Let me get over top of it a bit. That's, no, I think I went just a bit too far. Whoops. Sorry, Tony, I broke your tweezer. There. All right, let's let that uh, dry just like that. I know there's a, you know, there's a little bit of a divot here, but I, I think that's going to be all right. Now, as long as we're still on a roll, you might say. Uh, okay, we'll do it the same way again. We'll we'll use the put some extra thin in here to to meld this socket. And some down here to. I should really have the macro lens on, shouldn't I? But you know what? I'm not wearing my uh, my my magnification hood, so you're you're actually seeing it about the same way I am right now. Now. Yeah, I I don't like to. Whoops! Oh, run! I don't like to uh, squeeze it with my fingers because I, I'm afraid of getting glue stuck on my thumb. There, there, it's squished together. Do you see that? Okay, I wonder if I can just sort of wipe that a little bit there. There we go. Hey, nice weld. Okay, let's leave it. That's almost perfect. Okay, now. I tried to reinforce things just a little bit here and I put on some extra CA thin and I accidentally got it on the paint here. Now fortunately we're going to have to repaint anyway. 11 minutes after 8. I think we better call it a night here. I'm starting to make silly mistakes here. So we'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning, and before we get going here with our micro crystal clear, let's get this out of the way very carefully now. Now, this is just, you know, this is just uh, one more place that I have to be careful not to grab. Uh, we'll take a close look at this later. I'm going to be interested to see how well all of this is going to mesh down on the deck. We'll try that out later too. It looks like it's going to be just about right. Um, I, I might have to sand these down just a little bit, but but I think we did pretty good there. I'm noticing that the, now that this one here, the, cent, the center one, 
it should be bent out this way a little bit. You can probably see that it's it's not perfectly in line. It's too bad I didn't notice that last night when uh, when I was gluing this up because right now the the uh, glue is 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 hard. Um, so I probably snap it off if I tried to bend it out. So I'm not going to. Anyway, uh, what I want to do here right now actually is recompose and uh, see if we can't put some uh, micro crystal clear on that uh, aluminum color. I think that this is possibly going to be the best. Uh, you know, um, I don't know what I'm going to do if I if we really don't like one of them. Uh, I, I think it's a case of it, it won't it won't matter if they're different as long as you don't have two that can be both seen at the same time that are violently different. Uh, did that make sense? Okay, uh, let's recompose here, get our macro lens on, and uh, move right in. Somebody had asked me, are you going to do the portholes and with this micro crystal clear? And I don't think I will. But that got me to thinking about, you know, I'd have to apply this to, you know, all, all, a couple of hundred portholes or more. And I was wondering if a person was to take their a hypodermic needle, like I just cut the end off of this so it's not so terrible sharp, and would, uh, would a syringe, you know, th this syringe right here, uh, w would I be able to uh, get get the micro crystal clear or to uh, s squeeze through that narrow tube or is it or is the uh, viscosity just too thick and it won't go now I know that you this would be like a one-time thing because once it started to dry and harden inside the, the needle well the, the needle would become useless of course okay but, but that's an experiment that we'll have to do later. I don't know if it'll be later today. Okay, let me sample a little bit of uh, crystal clear here. Now, I don't think it, it matters if it's, if it's on there really thick, just so long as it doesn't flow over the edges. I'm going to take a little bit off there. I think I've got too much on there. I just want it to go up to and onto that, what you might call a, a rim that's all around the outside, so that it looks perfectly uh, maybe a, so it takes the uh, the diameter looks perfectly around. It's a it's probably going to be all right. It might be a little bit too much. Let's get some off of my stick. I think I did a better job on this one. <clears throat> okay, now it's uh, what time we got here right now? It's 16 minutes after seven. Uh, we'll give this lots of time to cure, and uh, I, I think that uh, possibly it'll be clear by the end of today's episode. We'll see. Okay, now we want to see how well is this going to match onto our deck, and this is actually going to be the first time that I'm trying it. At least uh, a real exact fitting, let's put it that way. I think it's, uh, I think it's basically locked into place there. It has to get just right or it rides on top of that. I 
had it and then I tried to improve on it. I'll be careful where I grab here. Come on, it's, what's so complicated about this? There we go. Okay, it's locked into place. And what kind of uh, tolerance have we got going on here? I, you know, I, I think that's pretty much exactly right on. I think we're going to be able to basically be able to glue these uh, five uh, supports onto the deck. On the other hand, uh, there's not going to be any stress on them, so maybe just leave them, and that way you're not going to be making a mess on whatever color we're going to be painting this deck. There is no planking on this deck that I can see. There does appear to be some kind of a some kind of a texture going on there. I'm almost seeing what appears to be little little squares, but maybe it's my imagination. Anyway, let's get the uh, before I poke myself here. Okay, I had thought that I'd seen some sort of a texture or a pattern going on here, but I've I've adjusted my lighting now, so I've got a strong light coming in from from this direction like this, and it. If there was any raised areas, you'd, you'd see the shadow, and I'm just not seeing anything uh, except a little piece of dirt here. Um, yeah, so I guess this, uh, I, I don't know if when you buy a detailed kit, if you get wood planking for this. I don't think so. I think that probably this was painted some kind of uh, color, or maybe it was, uh, you know, like, Battleship linoleum or <laughs> something like that. I don't know. Anyway, we'll we'll be we'll be painting it some sort of probably a little bit darker gray, maybe the seventy seven. We'll see. That should be a little safer. Okay. Now, are we going to be able to suck any up into this syringe? It's probably, the level is probably right about right here. I don't know how long uh, this stuff, uh, what kind of a shelf life we get on this. It was just an experiment. Oh, this looks promising. Do I really need that much? Let me wipe the... In fact, I don't even need that much. Yeah, I, I got a feeling this is going to work. Okay. Now, I, I can't be the only person that's thought of this. I'm sure that somewhere in the world there is somebody applying micro crystal clear to their portholes with this thing. Let's, let's uh, put on the macro lens so we can see it up close and for the first time. I haven't tried to squeeze it yet, so we're going to see it together. All right. First, let's make a porthole. Now you will notice I've got a, a light here. This is this is an extra one from the Bismarck. Uh, I think we uh, only needed eight, but there was uh, enough sprue for for nine or something like that. Because I'm I'm pretty sure we didn't miss one. Um, okay, we got our porthole. Let's move in just a little bit here. Okay, this may not work. It may all of a sudden come squirting out on me and make a big mess. I'm just 
slowly pushing on the plunger. Oh, look at that. You know what? I think that this would work really well for having to do multiple uh, like portholes. I think it would work really well. I'm, I'm proud of myself for thinking of this. But like I say, I'm probably not the first one. We'll let that dry. Now, probably gonna have to recompose here because undoubtedly this is gonna go out of the field of view. So just give me a minute here. Okay. No. This uh, photo etch screen, I don't know if it's a good, this is going to be a good idea or not, but I'm just going to sort of let it. Go all around on top of it. Like I say, this is, this may not be a good idea. It could be that this is too big an area and the wrong type of surface. It might have been better if a, if a person was to apply this stuff after or rather before you put the, the photo etch screen on there because there's about a millimeter space We're probably going to have to wait till tomorrow for this. I've just emptied the syringe so I don't have to bother refilling it. We'll just sort of smear this over here. we got lots. Oh, don't move it, Ron. Try and get rid of any little bubbles that we've got going on there. I think that's a bubble. All right, how does that look? Uh, okay, we'll let that uh, go clear and, and, you know, just can't lose. Uh, by the way, this, this whole part, it was in my uh, jar of uh, things that I was going to grind up from my sprue pen, which I probably will never do. Bit of a bubble going on there. I don't know if that would be seen later or not. Okay, I've uh, divided these sections off here, make it a little clearer. We have done this section right here. Uh, this section right here, there requires some photo etch ladders. I don't know if I'm going to be uh, doing the brass black thing on the ladders. I'll see when I actually come to it. I may just, uh, you know, glue them on the, on the sides here where they're supposed to go and, and be done with it. Um, well, there's only one ladder. Is there supposed to be a ladder on the other side? Doesn't say. Um, photo itch 16. There's a ladder over here. No, it's a, that's a different ladder. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead now and, and get these ladders. And and there's also some uh, parts over here. The, this, uh, these, these right here are, uh, I believe, they are to represent the running lights. Like, you know, red on one side and green on the other. Don't ask me which side right now. I'd have to think about it. Okay, uh, port is red. Starboard is green. Okay, now, which side is port and which side is starboard? <laughs> Here is what's been happening with Pizza Day today. 
Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like pizza, does it? Okay. The, uh, I've been having a real problem with uh, water retention. In other words, my feet and lower legs are badly swollen up. And I know that it's always related to my diet. If ever I start eating a lot of uh, salty, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and a lot of it. Um, <laughs> you know, moderation is the best, but uh, the moderation in me doesn't go to good, go together too good. It's sort of like not turning this thing while I'm talking to you, you know. <laughs> it's just hard to do. So what I've got here is I've got uh, romaine, I've got apple, I've got uh, carrot. Um, what else is in there? Uh, oh yeah, orange juice. <laughs> I used orange juice for, uh, for a salad dressing. And what this is, is just you'll recognize it as all bran. And that's going to be my croutons. <laughs> and I've, I've weighed it all out, and I know how many calories I'm going to be having all together and so on. But, but that's going to have to be it for uh, today's pizza day, I'm afraid. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and enjoy this. And uh, then we'll take a little look at what we did here yesterday. Uh, I was uh, noticing, though, that what we did this morning... Uh, it's uh, it's not dry yet, so there's no use looking at it because it just isn't going to look good. Whereas I do believe that these ones here uh, are about as good as they're going to get. So uh, we'll, we'll see you back a little later. Okay, the one on our right is the clear blue, obviously. And the one on the left is the number 22 gray. Looks like I got a bit of a scratch or something on the blue. Uh, yeah, I probably accidentally touched it when I was still a little bit wet. Or something brushed against it maybe and I didn't notice. Anyway, I think that's probably going to be it for today's episode, folks. So, thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow. <laughs>